Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with A Place Further Than The Universe episode number 6 reaction. Okay, uh, the previous episode, it was one of my favorite episodes of this series. Um, it, it was basically Megumi, uh, we should see how Megumi is taking this whole situation of, you know, seeing, um, like, you know, like her friend, her one and only friend uh going uh, not going away but like you know going to the trip in antarctica and how like you know she does not like the fact that you know when from when they were ch children uh mari always kind of uh depended on her and she had this kind of like a elder sister like oh like she always like you know kind of asks me for advice and everything and she did not like her actually like you know growing up on her own which made her feel like she was left behind all alone and that frustrated her she like you know she up until now she thought that Mari was the one who was clinging to her but in came the realization that no it was actually me who was clinging to her so like you know this feeling and her actually like, you know having that little jealousy within her and trying to mess everything up she did a few things which obviously she was not supposed to do like you know um she the whole thing with the money you know and then like you know spreading the rumors and stuff she was the one behind them as she said and like you know and the realization that yeah i am such a bad person to actually impede uh my f my best friend's path for my own petty jealousy you know that realization also like you know made it un like an unable for her to just keep like you know just keep it to herself by the end of it she goes to Mari and says that yeah I've done this so we should like you know s like stop being friends but Mari like obviously like you know like I'm, I'm glad that Mari actually took this like you know step and she was like no I've rejected the breakup and just went on her way um, because if she actually if Mari didn't say anything and went like you know to Antarctica uh, the friendship couldn't be salvaged back so I'm really glad that uh, she actually said that no I'm li not listening to you you know like uh, we were friends and we will be friends after i come back and just goes on her way like at least after she comes back she will be able to salvage the relationship so yeah it was a fantastic episode let's see what this one brings this is episode number six of a place further than the universe so yeah let's get started so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it whichever is your preference and let's start all right so here's the countdown three two one Go. What the? <laughs> no, she's probably tired of yeah her job, like just stamping and stamping. Oh my god! Are they going like school trips? <laughs> Shanti airplane Well, yeah What <laughs> Oh, no, she's <laughs> Yeah, well <laughs> all right so well, i'm guessing uh the all the other people are going on their own like, like i don't know why but i had this thought like yeah they're going to all going to go at the same plane or something but no obviously it, that doesn't make sense i'm guessing they probably like booked their own way to go to australia and in this plane they will be the only one who are just going probably unless and until there's like a coincidence and they ended up meeting so yeah but i i feel like shouldn't um yuzuki's mom go with her like she's supposed to be her manager is she even supposed to go i'm not sure um we'll see Oh my god. Um 
Damn, the, the video kind of... <laughs> uh. Okay, let's see. Welcome to the Ryan show. <laughs> Got left behind. Dear mom. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, okay, obviously. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, obviously. She's like a game. Um <laughs> All right. <laughs> she is watching a movie? Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, you're being a little bit too noisy. All right. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> She's crying. She did not get ice cream. <laughs> well, I'll also be pissed, you know, if I didn't get my ice cream. <laughs> I've, I'll talk about this later like my okay it feels nauseous in the first time in airplanes I'm surprised that okay never mind oh <laughs> she <did. laughs> oh no yeah Just... Oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Discount, please. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> Efficient. Wait, only one room? <laughs> Wait, who's going to jump on it or something? Like what? Wait, what? Oh, is she bad? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I remember. So this happened, okay. Hmm. What? Um, d did something go missing? What happened? Why was it? Okay. Ah. Wow. There they are. My lion. <laughs> it's not as disappointing. What? Yeah. <laughs> Some weird thing to say. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. I doubt that's Oolong tea.
<laughs> oh, that's a lot of food. My God. It's impossible to eat so much. What the hell? Ha. Do people eat that much? <laughs> A different stomach for deserts, you know? <laughs> Wait, why did... Oh no. Wait, what is that? What is that flavor? What flavor is that? <laughs> what? Oh, she knew it. Okay. Yeah. Oh no, did she, did she lose it or something? Oh no. Oh no! Come on, tell her! Or like, it'll be a problem later on, otherwise. <laughs> For a shoot. Obviously not. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this looks amazing. Hmm. <laughs> Two days. Yeah. <coughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, true. Just, yeah, probably doing homework or stuff. <laughs> oh no. God. Yeah, come on. You need to tell them. Like, it'll be a problem later on, otherwise. Like, the more you delay this. Yeah, she, she, she's not finding it. She lost it. What? No. She brought so much random stuff. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and why is she speaking broken Japanese? Yeah, like this is, oh my god, N nothing. Uh, yeah, this is not. <sighs> Embassy, but half a day. Okay. Sunday and holiday. Oops. Uh. 
Well. Hmm. Yeah, you, you contact them. No, contact them about this, like, you know, problem. Like, ah. Uh. Ah, uh, well. What the? Oh my god, she's already asleep. Sleep off. <laughs> oh my god. Ah. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, well. Oh boy, no, I think she's... Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Being considerate, yeah. I have to say, that's not how I want this to go, like. I feel like she has to push here, like, you know, like, this is, this is not okay, like, I can understand what uh, Hinata is saying, but I don't agree with her completely.
I'm, I'm pretty sure they probably went to search or something something <laughs> she just said that <laughs> no, it's you actually. It's actually him. Oh my god. Another month. What? Oh my god. Oh no, wait, what? Oh my god. Oh my god! Million. Yeah. Well, ah, uh. okay, <laughs> business class. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's like, Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, run, 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 run. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, no need to show it. That, that'll be a secret, you know, to your grave. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Okay, that's Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh my god. <laughs> Four of them. Wait, why is she also okay? You know what? The shopkeeper's like, what the hell is happening here? Okay, they were able to cancel it. <coughs> King of fruits. Uh, okay, wow. Oh boy, another great episode. Wow.
ah, it's kind of it was kind of similar to uh, the previous one, you know, where it kind of tackles with a certain human emotion again. This episode, and this is another thing which I have to say they did it pretty well. Like, um, I love the fact that uh, what can I say? Like, I've never seen any anime actually kind of like you know like tackle these type of like you know like these are subtle emotions which actually exist in people but a lot of people don't even realize that and i'm really glad that this show is actually like you know like even though it's like a show where, where we are basically going to antarctica is also showing like you know and sh giving us the character development of the different characters and <clears throat> how they actually tackle their own like you know emotional problems and stuff and i'm i'm really like you know like this is this is really great i'm 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 kind of like what can i say i was not expecting something like this from a show which like you know i thought it was basically like yeah going to antarctica i was not expecting any development like this and i'm pleasantly surprised and yeah i'm loving it okay is there anything else left Oh, there's still something. Oh, Fremantle. Here we go. Did... What? Oh, the, these two. Wait, they're already here? Alright, so... Yeah, so... The, okay, the, the thing that I was saying... So... I'm really glad that, you know, like, as I said, I thought, like, this will be, like... Oh, this will be, like, a show where we go to Antarctica kind of excuse me you know like uh, the process of going to antarctica we're going to see that this and that and it'll be like a nice slice of life show just friends having fun but i'm i'm really happy glad that there are these type of things which are added to this show which as i said these are like subtle emotions which i doubt many people even realize that they have within themselves like for example the previous show the whole thing with megumi as i said uh the the the, pro the thing with megumi was a thing which i'm pretty sure every person has within them like you know that one um uh, what do you call it like one uh possessive part of someone you know which kind of like you know feels jealousy of by seeing like someone actually uh walking their own path by while like you know that that person thought that yeah we are always together we're going to do everything together but as soon as like that person sees that oh my friend is actually uh doing something with their life on their own while i'm here just standing still because you know, there is that part of that subtle feeling that subtle jealousy like whatever you call it there there is that thing that actually emerges which we ourselves don't even realize and this is like one of those subtle emotions which the previous episode tackled very nicely and i'm really glad about that while this episode also kind of tackles another um subtle emotion that is um there's two two emotions that we tackled in this episode first one was shirase shirase's emotion of as she said like i'm a little bit too over enthusiastic about stuff i don't like whenever something doesn't go according to plan you know now <clears throat> this is one thing that um i'll say it's relatable because i have this same thing like um i understand she has it very well because this all this this thing within me as well where i kind of you know make like this like a little plan every day like oh after waking up i'm going to do this i'm going to do that this that this that and uh, yeah this is how i'm going to end my day and this is what's going to happen tomorrow and I do that if that goes like that I'm like oh it's fine you know like everything's just amazing but if there suddenly comes in some exception or some wild card suddenly appears like suddenly if I get like an emergency uh, something like you know I have to do as soon as I have to uh, like as soon as possible and like I and if if that actually impedes one of the tasks that I had already planned today it annoys me it annoys me to hell whatever like you know like this is like a weird thing i don't know if this is like an actual <laughs> what do you call it like it's an actual thing but it, it it annoys me like you know extremely i'm like what the hell like i was supposed to do this and now i have to do this 
you know and i know that i have to do this like otherwise like it, that's because it's an emergency but it still annoys me you know like like if certain things doesn't go according to my planned thing i think shiasa was actually talking about that and not only that you know like that's a part of it another thing that shiasa was probably fussing about is like her what do you call it like you know like she has been trying to go to antarctica for so long she hasn't been able to so actually seeing her plan coming into well, like, you know fruition and then realizing that it might get delayed or some problem might come in because of this whole passport situation you know she that also probably bothered her <clears throat> because she does not does not want this to fail these two things number one like as she's as i said like you know the whole plan thing where she made a plan and it's not going according to plan which as i said is very relatable to me that thing and at the same time like this is something that she wanted for so long and she's finally getting it but something actually uh impeding that was probably which was a, a, st a thing that was bothering her that's why she was like you know in the beginning she was like oh um yeah like it wouldn't it be a problem if we go a little late you know like the <clears throat> The seniors they're very strict about stuff you know this and that you know making excuses so that was why he, she was doing that so that was the first emotion which was like shira says part the thing with hinata here was after listening to that you know she realized that oh i'm making like you know like i'm, I'm inconvenienced mm. excuse me inconveniencing my friends and <clears throat> here's where her thing starts coming out she has the problem of like you know like and i think like this is one thing that i think most people have this like you know uh, hinata's problem where she she says like i don't like anyone um you know uh, what what did she say what was that particular word she said uh being considerate yeah being considerate because of something that wrong that i did you know uh, being considerate of on my behalf i don't like that you know, someone going out of the way to do something because I messed something up. That thing. I'm pretty sure this is one thing that I'm pretty sure each and every person has. Some, some people might have some uh, in a very less amount. And some people might have this in a big amount. Like small little stuff bothers them. While, uh, you know, it, it depends. And if there's like some person who does not have this at all. I'll, I'll probably say that that person is shameless. Like, you know, like if you actually make problem for others and you don't think anything about it you're like ah it's fine if you're a person like that i'll have to say that you're shameless you know that's basically it so that's why i'm saying there's definitely people who has this thing um you know <clears throat> where they kind of get bothered because they're inconveniencing other people some have it in a very large amount some have it in a very less amount but everyone has it little or you know in in small little amounts so but uh, for um, Hinata here, it was, it was, as she said, like, it was quite like a very extreme um, amount because she got so much bothered that she stopped going to school. Like, like, you know, like she used to like listen to people talking behind her back and everything <clears throat> and being considered in front of her. Like that bothered her so much that she, she stopped going to school and she like kind of like you know she's like inside a shell within her kind of shows this exterior happy persona she's like ah everything's fine but within her she is you know like thinking about this continuously and like you know always paranoid as if like oh like you know because of my actions is someone getting inconvenienced am i bothering someone like this thing and like for now here's the thing if if like you know shirase was not in this like you know whole picture i think um what's her name hinata hinata wouldn't have been bothered because we we know how mari is you know like she was like oh you lost it what are we going to do um uh, okay let's like you know like delay it a little bit like she she was so easily able to like you know, accept this whole situation like you know like she she wasn't even bothered by this and yuzuki yuzuki like you know like knows i'm pretty sure she knows like you know like she I'm, I'm sure she probably like faced this situation herself as well you know that's why she was like you know like she was saying like okay we're going to do this we're going to do that we'll have to probably delay this and yeah you know like she was not getting bothered but you know for shirase here she has kind of got bothered so that's why i'm saying if shirase was not in this picture you know 
I'm I I, I think probably like uh, Hinata would not be bothered at all. She would you know like I don't know I'm not so sure but I feel like she would have been pretty normal in this situation. But since Shirase was there, Shirase was like kind of saying that. Oh, but uh, aren't we going to get into trouble later on for this? As soon as she said that, it struck, you know, it, it struck and started bothering um, uh, Hinata. And she was like, oh, my actions are inconveniencing someone else. So, like, you know, she was like, yeah, and she was like, okay, like, let's just, like, you know, keep this for tomorrow. Like, you know, let me think. Uh, maybe it'll come, like, you know, pop up and I'll find it. And, and she like, starts bothering her. And then obviously, like, you know, she kind of had that conversation with Shirase. She has kind of apologized. And as soon as Shirase apologized, it started bothering her even more. Like, you know, because she's been considerate of her. Like, you know, like, and she gets even more bothered by it. And she's like, no, don't do that. Like, you know, like, I'm, I'm like, no need to be considerate of me. I, I hate that when people do that to me. And she's like... All right, you go, like, you know, you three go on alone. I'll, I'll catch up and stuff like that. He, she starts saying. So that's basically what happened. And yeah, this is like, you know, this, these two, the clash of emotions, like, you know, Shirase here, she's, uh, you know, like being bothered because things are not going according to her plan. And at the same time, this is something that she wanted to do for so long. And she finally has that within her grasp. So seeing some external factor actually impeding that and being a threat to that, she she gets bothered she is being a little bit you know like anxious about that whole situation like that's like the whole thing with shirase this thing actually bothers hinata and hinata is like yeah i'm inconveniencing her so let me just tell her that yeah you three go ahead i'll 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 follow you later on and if i'm unable to find my passport if it's like you know like uh, if the time limit goes away and i'm not able to uh, go in time i'll probably go back to japan so this this was the whole thing about this situation <clears throat> okay so at the, at the beginning we see like you know them actually boarding the plane and everything and <laughs> it's shiasa for shiasa this was the first time and i remember my first time in an airplane as well it was not so bad as i've heard i've heard people actually throwing up or something you know in, in an airplane whenever like that the whole you know, thing happens and it was not that bad, but I did feel nauseous a little bit. It it was kind of weird, um, and I did not feel well. I'm not. I was not okay at all. You know, I, I just like this constant. Like, and I was getting bothered by something. But uh, like you know, when in the middle of it, it was kind of fine. And then again, when it was landing, it kind of started you know, acting up again, like the nausea and everything. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this kind of like you know goes away as like you know we kind of travel more and more in airplanes. And it becomes normal because for Yuzuki, people like Yuzuki who kind of like, you know, frequent in airplanes, it's like a normal thing for them. I was extremely surprised with Shirase because she was actually not bothered by it. And as I said, I, I, it differs from person to person, I guess, you know, like some people get nauseous, some people don't. It's just not within, you know, like they, they don't get bothered at all. So it probably differs from people to people. Um, but yeah, they had a nice time in the airplane, like, you know, like watching movies and stuff and... <laughs> Kimari was playing games and everything and <laughs> okay <clears throat> and yeah now they okay now they uh, come out from the plane it's like hot as hell outside and like you know they're talking about like exchanging the money and stuff and like, <laughs> snapping pictures and everything here's when um hinata realizes that yeah probably my passport is gone and now <laughs> they come to the hotel they kind of like you know hang around and everything buy little stuff like the the, the glasses and everything <laughs> and uh, yeah now they're, they're like you know like the whole thing happens like you know they're like in the hotel like they're kind of like you know having fun and everything the next day they kind of go sightseeing kind of go eating as well and here <laughs> kimari asks not kimari sorry hinata asks um yuzuki i think yeah yuzuki that the passport like you know is it with you <laughs> yuzuki is like yeah it's with me and Kimai is like, uh, not Kimai, sorry, Hinata is like, oh boy, I messed up. <laughs> and she was actually not saying, like, here's another, like, here we can see, 
you know, I was, I was thinking like, why is not he, she not saying anything to them? I realize now why she was not saying anything. She was actually fussing about bothering others. She was kind of getting like, you know, um, what can I say? Like uh, anxious because she thought like if she told them that, yeah, my passport is missing, they're going to get bothered. And that's why she was not saying that. Um, but yeah, Yuzu kind of catches that. Um, okay. And then they like this, like, you know, the, they are like on top and everything talking about uh how like you know this world is so huge like you know you know even when we are not somewhere people's daily lives kind of like you know keeps happening and everything kind of you know like nice like, you know little scene but yeah and then everyone uh like you know, yuzuki forces hinata to tell what what was bothering her and she says like yeah this is my problem my passport is probably lost and then they start actually thinking about the stuff and you know like how to counteract this situation going to the embassy and um you know it's going to take one or two days like uh no one day i think they said yeah something like that for everything to go okay and they were like you know what we have time still but the next day was a sunday so yeah that was another problem so and here's where the whole thing starts she has just starts saying like but aren't like you know isn't, isn't this going to be a problem later on like you know we, we're going to like you know the, the our seniors are going to be fussy about this and if we like you know like if we lose time here it might be a problem later on this and that she starts talking about that and this thing starts bothering hinata so <clears throat> yeah so oh boy now as i said i kind of talked about this before you know um this the, the the whole thing is actually like both their problems you know like she does uh, she does like you know the whole thing of not being able to go according to her plan and this being the first time after so long that she's successfully able to go to antarctica that whole thing bothering her and sh she became vocal with it and her being vocal with it made like you know uh hinata a little bit anxious and she started thinking like oh i'm bothering others so yeah like that started bothering her and when like you know when they go to the room she has say obviously she has realizes that yeah like me actually being vocal like that is probably extremely rude because we are friends here and it seems as if like i am like you know that um, selfish person who doesn't care about what like you know like my, my friend is in trouble and i'm just thinking about myself like it kind of makes me seem like selfish so she realized that she realized how it made her sound so she apologized to hinata which again made hinata even more bothered more anxious she's like oh she's being considerate of me i don't like this and the flashback starts coming in where she was all alone and like her you know her friends are just talking behind her back and being considerate in front of her and you know like all that stuff so she's like ah like no problem like you why are you apologizing i should apologize here and you know like she was like yeah like no problem like you know like, you guys go ahead i'll definitely catch up to you you know if i'm unable to do that i'll probably go back to japan but this is important to you isn't it so go ahead now here's where i was thinking like the way it was kind of going i was really thinking like yeah like i really hope this does not go the way hinata is like you know planning for it to go like hinata was planning that yeah like they will go ahead i'll try to find it if i'm unable to find it i'll just go back like if that really happened it would have been a mess so obviously shirase was also getting bothered by hinata's you know behavior she's like what is happening you know like um and then hinata talks about it hinata is like you know like you know i also apologize here i kind of reacted like that because i don't want others being considerate of me like that bothers me and that's why i stopped going to school because people are always being considerate of me you know like and i don't like that so <clears throat> like and then like obviously she says like like Okay, and then Shira says, like, we, we are going to... No, where is it? Oh, yeah, uh, Hinata says that you, you, you're the one who wanted the most to go to Antarctica, didn't you? 
So this makes this your first priority. So obviously you are going to say something like that. It doesn't bother me. You go ahead. You know, this is very important for you. But you know, like I'll try to catch up. And she also gets mad, obviously, like you know, this this way of like you know, her faking that smile, you know, in front of her and just you know, like being bothered by it within herself. That probably like you know kind of uh, annoyed she at that moment and she just went to sleep. And that, I'm pretty sure that's when she, uh, you know, decided that, yeah, whatever Hinata says, I won't listen to it. Uh, I'll do, like, you know, what I thought I would do. I'll try to find another way for Hinata to join us as well. That's why in the morning, she didn't even bother waking Hinata up. <laughs> Hinata overslept and she just, like, you know, went away and it was kind of trying to, you know, find a way to, uh, you know, like, deal with this whole situation. And Hinata came in, Hinata's like, why didn't you wake me up? And uh, she was just, <laughs> just like, yeah, like whatever. And Yuzuki tries to, like, you know, buy another ticket, which was the cheaper ticket. But the cheaper ticket does not, like, you know, does not have enough, I, I guess, like, you know, uh, it's all sold out. And the next one is like one month later. So, yeah, it's a problem. And that's when, again, Hinata is like, oh, no problem. Like, you know, you guys go ahead. You know, I'll catch up, obviously, and if I'm unable to, like, I'll just go back, like, no problem here. And obviously, she also gets annoyed here because, you know, like, as I said, like, this, this whole thing of Hinata faking a smile in front of everyone while in her own getting bothered, probably, like, you know, she did not sit well with Shirase because, especially, if, uh, did not sit well with Shirase because she was kind of another reason why this whole thing, you know, like, why Hinata started getting bothered, because, you know, she has a kind of became vocal with her thing, you know, she said that, oh, like, wouldn't this bother the seniors, and that's why I'm pretty sure that probably made her feel guilty within herself as well, she's thinking that, oh, like, Hinata is being, like, you know, like, acting like this because of my words, she probably got hurt, and all these things, you know, and, like, you know, th that's why she just, just went there, and she's like, yeah, like, give us, like, you know, some tickets. And the receptionist is like, uh, we don't have it. And she just brings out the million yen and she's like, yeah, I need ticket as soon as possible. And obviously Hinata's like, what the hell are you doing? Why are you being so stubborn? And like, here's the thing, <laughs> like, in my opinion, I think like, <laughs> um, Hinata was the one being stubborn here. Obviously I realized why she was being stubborn here because, you know, she, that's like her thing. She doesn't want others to fuss about her. But Shirase here is fussing about her extremely, which she did not like. And she feels she feels as if she's bothering everyone. And uh, yeah, this is the thing, you know, like when when you realize like, you know, like about friendship, this is the thing. Um, as long as you feel as if in my friend circle, I'm bothering one of my friends, like, you know, that's why you kind of limit your actions and stuff, do according to what would f feel okay, you know, which, what would not bother them. As long as that, like, you know, happens, you are not good friends with your friend circle. As, as soon as you become good friends with your friends, you know, like in your friend circle, the bothering thing kind of goes away. Like, you don't even care about... <laughs> That's good friendship, you know. What is good friendship? Good friendship is when you stop thinking about whether you're bothering your friend. That's basically a good friendship. Like, you know, like, that's basically, like, you know, like, it, it's like, they're, they're like your own, you know, like, your friends are like your own. Like, you, you're pretty sure that, yeah, I'm going to bother them in some point of my life. And you're pretty sure that they will also bother me in some point of their life. But that's just within that friendship. It, it, it doesn't bother anyone because you're friends. You know, you're more of, like, you know, like, you know, you, you, you're like buddies. So that's what it is, you know, like they, they basically met a few days ago and they still does not have that connection, that thing within them. So obviously, like, you know, and, and with Hinata's thing here where she gets bothered by everyone's, like, you know, being considerate of her, like, you know, this is this kind of is even a, a more of a big deal. Like she, she, she gets bothered. She's getting bothered of the fact that, yeah, she is bothering someone else. So this shows that the, the bond is not there yet. They are not friends in that sense. But I'm pretty sure like as, as they keep like, you know, spending time together, 
you know, this this thing is going to probably go away. And you know, like that's when I'll say that yeah, they are good friends. When the different you know people, the different characters, they stop thinking about whether their actions are bothering their friends. As soon as that happens, I'll say like yeah, they are good friends. And that's basically it here. So she, you know, she she's like. Yeah, like why are you becoming being so stubborn? And the thing that um, she also says here is such a great line. I have to say, uh, where is that part? Uh, okay, uh, yeah, here's it. She also says that what's wrong with being stubborn? That's how I've lived all my life. I'm stubborn. People make fun of me, and I've had awful experiences. But I remain stubborn because I'm right. And this this line, if you don't want me to be considerate, I'll say it outright. I don't want to be the kind of idiot who doesn't worry about something just because you say don't worry about it. Yeah, this this line is such a great line, you know, like I'm not that idiot that won't stop bothering about you because you no, what, what did she? OK, yeah, here it is. I don't want to be the kind of idiot who doesn't worry about something just because you say don't worry about it. This line, this is such a good line, you know. Oh boy, fantastic. I don't want the kind of shallow relationship where I go without you because you say just go without me. There you go. Like this was what I was talking about, like this thing. Um, so yeah, I don't want to be the kind of coward who gives up without trying even though we said we'd all go together we're going the four of us all four of us that's my priority yeah this thing like it's good that like you know she kind of uh you know kind of got enraged here and started <laughs> yeah started talking like this but this this was needed you know like unless and until she she actually said it like this Hinata wouldn't understand. She would always, like, you know, keep thinking like, oh, I'm bothering them. I'm bothering them. You know, they can keep on that fake mask in front of her, like that happy smiling mask. And uh, yeah, that's like, that would have been bad, you know, by the end of it. So like, it's kind of like an you know, interesting to see, like Shirase is the type of girl who just, you know, like her, her face kind of reflects what she's feeling. While Hinata is the type of girl who keeps everything within her while her face is like a mask which she kind of keeps, puts on like you know that happy exterior persona just so that she doesn't want others to be considerate of her. And um, Kimari is just... <laughs> Kimari, she, 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 she's just like that, you know, dumb, ditzy, that kind of a girl and she, she's like, you know, that's just her, like, you know, she, 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 what can I say? There's, there's no mask in front of her. She's, she doesn't have anything. <laughs> That's basically Kimari. Like, she, she expresses whatever that she feels. That's basically her. <laughs> While um, Yuzuki... Um, ah, Yuzuki. Yuzuki is a tough one. Yuzuki is probably, like, as, as we know, like, she's an actress. Mm. Yeah, she's also probably someone who does not show what she's feeling within her. We'll see. I'm, we didn't get much character development with Yuzuki. We got a, quite a bit of character development with Megumi and um, Kimari. And now in this episode, we kind of get a lot of character development with Hinata. So, and Shirase as well, if you like, you know, include her. So Yuzuki is still left. I'm looking forward to that if something is going to happen with her. So yeah, anyways. Um, so yeah, that's what happens here. And uh, she she ends up buying business class tickets. Okay. Okay. Um, business class. Yeah. She ends up buying that. So I'm guessing all her million yen kind of went out, like you know, kind of got spent there. And she's like, yeah, there's no other choice. Like you know, what else should I have done? And there's and the business class had seats, so I just bought it. <laughs> so yeah, and then <laughs> then the fun starts. She actually realizes that her passport is with her, and she's like, "Oh my god, what what have I done? <laughs> I was acting so smug up until now, and look at this. It's with with my within my purse." And <laughs> she she remembers everything where she kind of handed her the passport, and she started tying her 
laces and uh, Shiyase was like oh you're keeping this outside you're going to lose it this and that started preaching and you know and then she just like she was like you know what let me keep it within my purse and now she realizes that she's like oh my god this is a mess <laughs> how am i going to say this to everyone and uh, yeah and yusuke is like what are you hiding tell me you can, we need to know <laughs> and she tells everything and <laughs> then like you know the, the the fruit what is that fruit um durian oh durian okay oh the the ice cream that she okay 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 that's the same flavor isn't it yeah <laughs> what is a durian what i've i've never s is that a jackfruit i feel like that's a jackfruit um durian weird i've never heard of this before durian durian here we go durian kind of looks like a jackfruit doesn't it uh pungent smell custard like flesh with large seeds no this it's not a jackfruit kind of looks like one however but yeah i've, I've never even heard of this fruit before anyways <laughs> um so yeah anyways so yeah like <laughs> <laughs> and they have to eat that in front of them and it's like nasty smelling and everything and they're like yeah let's eat it and okay so she actually um returned the tickets oh no here we go we were able to cancel the tickets and we still get to fly fly out the same day oh so um wait so she got her million yen back that means doesn't it i think so yeah she canceled the tickets so yeah all right wait king of fruits wait durian okay this durian thing is really bothering me i don't know why jack uh no they're different i was like, i was thinking like are jackfruit and durian the same no they're different yeah never mind okay <laughs> anyway so yeah that was it that was my reaction to episode number six of uh place further than the universe another fantastic episode i'm loving these like you know the previous episode was great as well this episode fantastic oh boy this is great so yeah i'm looking forward to the next one so that's it thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to episode six of a place further than the universe if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of A Place Further Than the Universe. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.